Saturday, late night, college football, 1030 Eastern on ESPN, TCU at Utah, and there is a good money-making opportunity. Free play with analysis coming up for your late night Saturday game here in just a moment. This is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down the late night special, always one of the most heavily bet college football games of the week, and I do think there's a good money-making opportunity in this Saturday night game at 1030 Eastern on ESPN, TCU at Utah. You know, disappointing couple weeks for the Utes. In fact, uh, the second back-to-back loss now has knocked them out of the top 25. They were a top 20 team a week ago, ranked as high as 16th in the rankings. But that second straight loss, this time to Arizona State, has knocked them out of the top 25. But this is still a really good Utah team, especially a really good defensive team and a good rushing attack. And for that reason, I like Utah in this game. The matchup is favorable, and we also get some line value now as well. Cam Risen. We have to talk about Cam Risen. Every Utah video I do every week, we always say, is he playing or is he not? Well, he's definitely not playing for the rest of this season. He is officially out once again after another leg injury last week against Arizona State, and he wasn't good to start with. No touchdowns, three interceptions last week. He, of course, had missed most of the season with a hand injury, had the ACL injury back in the 23 Rose Bowl, and now he has another leg injury that's knocked him out for the season. In fact, they're trying to get him another medical redshirt. There's a chance he could come back next year for his eighth season of college football. That's just a side note, just crazy stuff. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts? Do you think guys should get eight seasons in college football with injuries? I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. Everything's changed now. These are basically professional grown men playing football. Uh, But still, kind of crazy that you could have an eighth season. We'll see how that's ruled later in the year. But once again, comment below. I do read the comments, and I reply back. Speaking of crazy, this is a Big 12 game. Utah, of course, against TCU, but the Utes are in big trouble in this conference now with the two losses. However, the matchup is favorable here. First, let's talk about my, my projective uh, power ratings in this game. As you know, I run 10,000 game simulations each and every week for every game on the board. I get an average margin of victory, and in this game, I do favor Utah by 7.5 points, and the line has dropped substantially. It opened 6.5-7, seven, which is right around my numbers, but now it's 3.5. One of the reasons is because Cam Rising was announced out for the rest of the season. But like I said, he didn't play well last week. He's barely played all season. And with that factored in, I still favor Utah by 7.5. And and that's because of the favorable matchup here on the ground. Utah doesn't throw the ball well. Freshman quarterback's going to continue to struggle. But they do run the ball well. In fact, uh, one of the more underrated running backs in the country is Micah Bernard, Long Beach, California native, the senior here. He's had a fantastic season. In fact, he's had over 100 yards rushing in four of his last five games this season for the Utes, including 129 yards on the ground last week at Arizona State. And this is a good matchup, a good opponent, because TCU has struggled to stop the run this season. In fact, the Horned Frogs this year have not been good against the run, and that's going to play a huge factor in this game. They're giving up almost 206 rushing yards, five yards per carry, per game this season. They've been good against the pass, but they've been bad against the run, and that's Utah's strength. Also takes the quarterback, the pressure off the young quarterback as well. And then on top of that, as I mentioned earlier, Utah has a huge defensive edge, giving up just 4.9 yards per play, just 17 points a game. Despite back-to-back losses, a really good defensive team. TCU's allowing 37 points a game, almost 20 points more per game. Huge defensive edge. We got the rushing edge as well. TCU throws the ball better than they run. So Utah's going to win the rushing edge. They're going to win the defensive edge. And we get some line value on top of that. I project a 7.5 point win. And Utah's only minus 3.5. So pull the trigger with the Utes this late night special for you. 10.30 Eastern Saturday on ESPN. Hey, what are your thoughts on this game? Side, total, what are you looking at? Comment below. I read the comments. I reply back. Thumbs up, like. If you're liking the free play videos, I'll keep them coming. All I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up, like. And make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV. Click subscribe and click the bell as well for instant alerts when these free college and pro football, baseball, basketball videos go up throughout the week here on the channel, including my college f- football top 25 every week and also my NFL Fade the Public video this week. And click subscribe and click that bell for an instant alert. And speaking of basketball, the NBA starts next week. I'm number one all time, including the last three seasons combined in NBA profit at Wager Talk. Baseball playoffs are still here. We're having a great run in the plate. Baseball playoffs, which should be no surprise. Finished the regular season on a 31-13 and 13 best bet run in baseball. And we're number one this year already in the college and pro football regular season on best bet units one. The last two years entering, I was number one as well in ATS profit in football. Great time to be an all-sports client. This is the only time of the year that you get baseball, football, and basketball all going at once. And right now, I do have a very special offer. Get the rest of the year for free when you sign up for 2025. 
So far, I'm up over 170 units all sports profit this year in 2024, and there's still two and a half months to go. And you get that for free when you sign up for 2025. And I'm including an additional $200 discount on next year's price. Once again, this is a fantastic offer. It gets it down to about a dollar per play for every football, baseball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights, plus the next two and a half months included for free. That's over 14 and a half months for about a dollar per play. This is the best long-term offer I've ever made, and it's for this week only, so don't delay. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Now, if you want football only, nothing wrong with that. I know some of you are football players only. I do have two special offers for the rest of college and pro football, $299 and $399 for college and or NFL. And those promo codes are on my page right now, not available anywhere else. Great reason to check out my page daily is not just for the special offers and the promo codes, but you can also see what best bets are there. You can also see the recap of the past 20 best bets. So I do this video, we're on an 8-1 and one run over the past week on best bets. You can see every play I'm using every day. And then when you're ready to get on board, use one of those special promo codes and offers to save big and win big long term. Also, don't forget about the daily free play. I've tried to post a free play almost every day of the week on my page with analysis as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Follow me also on social media on X and Instagram, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.